Good morning to you all. Uh, Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Have you come prepared? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Good. I told you last time, you know, prepare ourselves to come before the King of Kings and, and, and Lord of Glory and the King of Kings. Amen. Yes. Sometimes uh, we just uh, need to do that, you know, because our minds are going every which way. Uh -huh. And we need to bring it in order and say, you know, we're going to receive from God. Amen. 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 We're going to receive Amen. from Him on a daily basis. Even on a daily basis, when you meet with Him, just get yourself right with Him. You know, put everything Amen. aside. I know you have priorities. We got all kinds of things we want to do, and uh -huh. we want to do them now. And they just bunch up on you, but it's the <laughs> time to just get before Him, you know, like Paul and Silas. <laughs> they had a lot on their mind. Yes. They've just yes. been beaten, you know. And. Instead of uh, being sad, they were glad. And that's what we're going to be talking about, giving thanks to God. Amen. Even when they took a beating, you know. And uh, who are we to say, well, you know, well, you don't understand what I'm going through. <laughs> well, you don't understand what Jesus went through. That's you right. don't understand what the disciples went through. Amen. Amen. And still, they sang praises. And guess what? God heard. Uh -huh. Amen. He hears you. Yes, but he don't say, you know, he never hears me. Uh -huh. So uh, if uh, he... If you ain't never heard from God, so come on up here. We want to lay hands on you. <laughs> and we want you to get saved. Amen. <laughs> Either that or, 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 or grab your Bible at home, dust it off, <laughs> dust it off, and do this. Amen. Open it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Then you'll hear from him. <laughs> then you'll hear from him. Amen. Because he talks to you all the time. Amen. Come on now. Everybody see a little pastor, huh? Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So we want to welcome all of you that are viewing us by audio, video, whatever you are, you know, you just yes. want to welcome you. Amen. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. Welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Yes. And hallelujah, we just want to share with you. We want you to be uh, open to what God has for you. Amen. Because he always has something for us. I tell you that all the time. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct you. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. So Amen. we just got to sit into him and, and, and listen to what he has for you. Amen. He gave me a message. You know, I was thinking about this all week. It's like uh, sometimes we catch an attitude because we say, well, who does Pastor think he is? Why is he talking to me like this? <laughs> Come on now. Come on. You know, you have to understand, I'm just a messenger. <laughs> he gives me a message. I bring it to you. I'm just a messenger. If you have any problems, then you go to God and say, how dare you talk to me like this? <laughs> Remember, he owns, he owns you. You belong to him. Yeah. So he can talk to you, you know. And we come yeah. wanting some answers. And you know, he's got answers for us. But then we try to take it off on pastor. <laughs> you don't talk to me like this. You know, I ain't coming to church anymore. I ain't coming here no more. Well, you know, if you go find the perfect church, let me know. And if you find the perfect church, you being there makes it imperfect. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Come on now. Amen. Amen. <laughs> we have a perfect God. Amen. Yeah. So, hallelujah, we're still going from step to step, uh, day by day. Amen. And we're learning, and we're going, and flowing for him. Amen. So nobody's perfect Amen. except him. Amen. Amen. So, you know what? We are here to encourage one another, help one another. Amen. Uh -huh. And see the best in people, not just the worst in people. Yeah. You know, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Sometimes we do want to bury them and see the worst and, and, and leave it at that, you know. Well, God knows all these things. Yeah. You know, he knows the worst about me. And mm -hmm. guess what? He loves me the most. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we're supposed to be imitators of him. Yeah. So we're supposed to do the same thing. Okay. Amen. The same yeah. Jesus yeah. died for you, died for them. Uh -huh. Amen. And you used to be there. You know, I used to be right. just like the prodigal son in in, 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 in the mud pit with the mud, with the hogs. With the hogs. Yeah. <laughs> but guess what? Mm -hmm. He found me there, and he pulled me, yeah. and I came to him. I did an about face, and now I'm serving him. Amen. And you'll see people, we're supposed to bring the good news to this bad news world. Uh -huh. But if you go in there just pushing yourself, trying to make yourself... Mm -hmm. You ain't going to inspire nobody. Amen. Amen. People are going to push you away and say, no, that's not the same God. Mm -hmm. God is love, and we need to bring the love yes. and the compassion of God. Amen. 
So we need to remember those things. Woo, yeah, I'm excited. I don't know too. Amen. 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 Get excited. <laughs> be excited for him. I want to be somebody. I want to be a blessing going somewhere to happen for mm -hmm. God. Amen. Amen. And you can do that. So you know what? Before we get started, grab your Bibles, grab your swords. And church say it like you mean it. Come on. Yeah. It says, this is yes, my Bible. I, I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. I can do, what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking about the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. And you notice that it says, my mind is alert. Yeah. Why? Because the enemy attacks the mind. Amen. He tries to put thoughts there. Amen. Mm -hmm. We're to renew our mind with the word of God. If you're not doing it, it's time we need mm -hmm. to do that. Amen. Amen. Renew your mind with what the word of God says. If you don't know what the word of God says, it's time to get into it Amen. and find out what the word of God says mm -hmm. so you won't listen to his lies anymore. Right. And when you hear something coming against the word of God, you just say, I'm not listening to that. No Amen. More. I don't listen to you anymore. You're not my God. Mm -hmm. Jesus is. Amen. My Lord. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Praise Amen. God. I'm excited. Uh, today, I'll be taught the word of God. All right. I know there was something that caught my attention there. You know, every time we sit, we always think about, you know, if brother so-and-so would have been here, <laughs> this would have been great for him. Mm -hmm. Or if sister so-and-so was here, this would have been great for them. Mm -hmm. No, this is for you. Amen. Yeah. So you grab it for yourself. Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> I'm grabbing this for myself, you know. I go over it and go over it. And guess what? When I preach it, when I deliver, it comes out different. Oh, yeah. Because I ask the Lord to anoint me to preach his word. Yeah. And that's not going to be just word for word the way right. I want it. It's going to be the way he wants to deliver yeah. it. Amen. Mm -hmm. So remember, pastor's just a messenger. And anytime you see somebody bringing a message, anytime you hear somebody bringing a message, don't judge them. Amen. Pray for them. Because you know why? Because the enemy is going to try to come against them and confuse them. And, and you know, you're going to judge the person. And you say, well, you know, they don't speak so well. Maybe they didn't dress so well. Maybe they didn't do it the way you want it delivered. But they delivered it the way God wanted. Yeah. And you never received anything because you were too busy judging. Yeah. You were too busy doing something else. All right. Open your minds and let God come in. Amen. 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 Ooh, hallelujah. Open your spirit. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we all know that this week, on Thursday, we celebrate Thanksgiving. So we're going to talk about Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. We'll continue. Last week, we talked about giving thanks. And we're going to continue by giving thanks. Amen? Amen? So praise God, I guess you could say part two. So let's read a few of these. Happy Thanksgiving. All those of you that are viewing and uh, listening by audio or video, we just want to say happy Thanksgiving. We pray that you have a happy Thanksgiving. Amen? Amen. Uh, remember in the, well, go back. <laughs> remember in the goodness of God. Amen? Yes. Keep going. Okay. Happy Thanksgiving, giving thanks to the Lord, for he is good, yeah, his he love endureth forever. Yeah, Psalm yeah. 107, 1. Mm -hmm. Write this down, you can go look it for yourself, amen? Keep going. It says, <laughs> Hebrews 13, 15. Happy Thanksgiving, let us continually offer a sacrifice of praise yeah, to God. Yeah. This is the fruit of lips that give thanks to his name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Lord, excited already. And the food looks good, too. <laughs> <laughs> it says, offer unto God thanksgiving, Psalms 50, 14. Mm -hmm. All of these look great. Keep yeah. going. <clears throat> All right, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Yeah. His love yeah. endureth forever. First Chronicles uh, 16, uh, 34. Amen. Praise God, Praise amen. God. So thank you, thank you, Lord. Happy Thanksgiving. This week we celebrate Thanksgiving on Thursday, November 28th. Uh -huh. <laughs> Listen, the world, including the U.S., has forgotten the true meaning of Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. The U.S. is a nation that has been abundantly blessed by our God. You know why? Because we pray and we support the nation of Israel. Yeah. And we're going to find a little more about that in a few minutes. Amen? Give thanks should be on top of our Thanksgiving mm -hmm. list. When you get before him, before you start putting all your demands of what I need, first thing you need to do is just 
enjoy him and yeah. just say thank you yeah. you know thank you that's thanksgiving thanksgiving is a national holiday we celebrate once a year but many of us think of thanksgiving as a time to enjoy a special meal with friends or family or co-workers <clears throat> uh, enjoy time off enjoy visiting with family enjoy parades football games parties <sighs> black friday Oh, starts, I'm ready. <laughs> starts the Christmas shopping season. Amen. Ooh, yeah. I'm excited about these things. And we forget about what uh, Thanksgiving is about. We've reduced Thanksgiving, a day of gratitude, to turkey time, time off, sporting events or sporting games, parades, and shopping. You know, we as believers, <laughs> that's not us. That's not us, okay? That's the world. They just forgot about that. We need yeah. to refocus, refocus on being grateful for what God has done. You know, the Bible says, and of course our text is uh, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world yeah. and gave. He gave. He's yeah. teaching us. And he gave his best. We need to give our best to him. Amen. Amen. Always remember the true meaning of Thanksgiving, which is Jesus. Jesus is the reason for the season. Mm -hmm. Whether it be Thanksgiving, whether it be Christmas, whether it be Easter, Every day is a day of Thanksgiving. Yes, you know, is. not just once a year. Oh, yeah, you know, once a, every November, I thank God. But what about every day? Amen. Amen. Just waking up is a day to say, thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Amen. So there's a lot of things to be grateful yeah. about. Yeah. Giving thanks should be a daily and not yearly on Thanksgiving Day only. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. I know you guys know. Yeah. <laughs> and John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, he gave. His wow. only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So He teaches us to give. Amen. And we yeah. are to give of ourselves. Yeah. If you didn't get a list of the, the giving list from last week, grab me one. I put them up there on the on the rack. But we can give of ourselves. We can give our time, our compassion, our thoughts. Yes. Amen. Appreciation. Our prayers, our happiness. Mm -hmm. We get we got lots, lots, lots to give. Amen. Yes. So praise God. If you open your Bibles, another text that, that we have is open your Bibles to Psalms 100. All of you know this by heart. But Psalms 100 is one of our texts. And uh, I'm going to read it to you from King James here. It says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Mm -hmm. Two, serve the Lord with sadness. Gladness. Oh, okay, I want you to be involved now. <laughs> serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with the singing. Uh -huh. Three, know ye that the Lord, he is God. It yes. is he that has made us and not we ourselves. That's right. We are his people uh -huh. and the sheep of his pasture. Amen. Enter his gates with thanksgiving mm -hmm. and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Amen. For the Lord is good, mm -hmm. not bad. That's right. His mercy is everlasting mm -hmm. and his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. Amen. I mean, you can read that on a daily basis, you know. <laughs> this is awesome. And he gave us a book of Psalms. Oh, my God. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Amen, 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 amen. Thanksgiving does not need to be uh, centered around some special day that we set on the calendar. Thanksgiving should be come from our heart on a daily basis, amen? Yeah. So that is what Thanksgiving is all about. It yeah. should come from your heart, amen, and yeah. say, Lord, thank you so much, yeah, yeah. amen? If you don't know what else to say, just say thank you, mm -hmm. amen? But you get before him and honor him yeah. and just say thank you. You know, yes. praise God. And praise some of us exclude ourselves because we're not good speakers, so we don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. Well, if you say thank you, thank it's, you. it's good. He likes yes. that. Giving thanks in Psalms 100 is about excitement. Yes. Be excited. Amen? Amen. Uh, serving, coming before God, come, uh, getting to know God, mm -hmm. entering his gates, a sacrifice, 
and blessing the Lord. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Psalms 100 is full of action words. We all like action. Amen. Amen. I know y'all can't wait for the Cowboys to come on. <laughs> but we're in a shop. I've seen you at the football games. <laughs> and I've seen you shouting and jumping up and down. I said, wow. I saw you at church. You could have, don't even do that. Yeah. Ah, come on now. You got to let it all out. We got to shout. We got to serve. Come, know, enter, and give, and bless. Amen. Woo. All these words are calling us to do something. Yes, amen. Remember, it's not about your neighbor. It's about you. It's yeah. calling you to do something. Well, I'm not like that. But I saw you at the game. <laughs> my God. Oh, my God. You're a totally different person. We come to church and we just sit. And we're supposed to worship him. Yeah. You know, raise your hands. You know what happens when you enter his gates? Mm. You enter and you're worshiping him, you know? I'm tell, I've told you this so many times. It just shows sometimes you cry. Sometimes you raise your hands. Sometimes you get on your knees. I say, man, I'm not worthy, Lord, to be here for your presence, you know? You get on your knees. Sometimes you stretch out. Sometimes you run around, you get yes. excited. Yes. Don't worry about the people around you. You just worship your God. Amen. Amen. They need to get into it. It says, come on in. Yes. Join it. It's great. Amen. God. Hallelujah. You know, we get crazy for the world. We can't get crazy for God. <laughs> come on. <laughs> a lot of people know you away from church. But they, man, I didn't know you was a Christian. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on now. <laughs> Everybody loves pastor, huh? <laughs> Be thankful, not just <laughs> with or with uh, in words, but also with actions. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Celebrate Thanksgiving is a matter of being involved, uh -huh. participating. You participate. Yeah. You know, Jesus participated. He didn't have to go to the cross, mm -hmm. but he went anyway, and yeah. he suffered everything that had to be done to go to the cross. And he didn't inc exclude himself. He included himself. Right. He was involved. Amen. You know, remember about the chicken and the, uh, what was it? The chicken and the, uh, and the pig? Yeah. The chicken said, hey, we can start a, a restaurant. And we're call, call it uh, ham and eggs. <laughs> <laughs> and the pig says, let me think about it. Then he thought about it. He says, no, that's okay. He says, huh. Because you're involved, and all you do is lay eggs. Me, I have to be sacrificed. Right. I gotta, you know, hey, I gotta die for you to have some ham or have some bacon. And I say, no, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. You don't have to do that. No. <laughs> so he wants us to be participators, not spectators. Yeah. But some of us just want to spectate. Well, you know, God didn't make you to be a judge or a spectator. Amen. He made you to be involved. Amen. Yes. Said, uh, Jesus didn't have it so easy. But you know what? When he needed strength, he went to the Father and said, Father, yes. I need your strength. <laughs> you know, he didn't feel so good uh, uh, having to go and get beaten and, and be sacrificed. But Lord, I need your strength to do this. Yes. You know, on a daily basis, Lord, I need your strength. Even during the day, you know, so I need your strength to do this. Or give me the wisdom I need for this, you know. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Come on, Lord. Lord. Amen. <laughs> God calls us to be actively involved in giving to him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving is something we must do daily. Yes. Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> not just once a year. Okay. Or not just when we feel like it. Uh -huh. Or not just when things are going good. Yeah. You know? right. yeah. <laughs> Remember, the, uh, he's God on the mountain. He's God yeah. in the valleys. Yes. But he's still there. He says, yeah. I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Right. I'm always with you. Mm -hmm. I'll be with you. So, hey, I'm not by myself. Right. I think right. you're alone, but you're not. He's not giving you a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. He's with Amen. you all the time. Amen. Right. Every day, every time is a time of giving thanks. So, yeah. hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Let me see what else we got. Praise God. Woo. In everything, give thanks. For oh, this is man. the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Right. Thessalonians, yes. First Thessalonians 5, 18. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Keep yes. going. Thank you, Lord. Right, we go. There's our text right there. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3, yes. 16. Keep going. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God is love. Mm -hmm. Tells us also in 1 John. God is love. John 3, 16. 
Keep going. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Keep going. We already read it. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord yeah. and to say praises unto his name. Almost high. Yeah. Psalms 92 1. Say, man, we just yeah. sang that. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Amen. This is a book of Psalms. Yes. This is a book of Psalms. So praise God. Keep going. There you go. We're going to talk about that in a few minutes. <laughs> so giving thanks joyfully is about excitement. Amen. Some of us need to get excited. Amen. Amen. You know, not just because IRS is sending you a thousand dollar check, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, we're talking about serving the King of Kings and Lord of Lords that owns everything. Right. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. And Amen. praise God, he woke you up. Lord, I just want, I'm excited. Yes, Thank you. Lord. I'm going to have a great day. He says, this today, Lord, it's me. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be involved in it. <laughs> Amen. You're a child of God. Go somewhere to ha happen and yes. make somebody glad and not yes. sad. Amen. Yes, right. Woo. Make a joyful yes. noise unto the Lord all, all you lands. lands. Amen. It says, shout for joy to the Lord all the earth. That's in the NIV. Mm -hmm. Church. God made us with emotions. Yes. yes you know, he, <laughs> he made us with emotions. That's all right. The Bible says Jesus wept. So yeah. don't be ashamed to cry if you have to cry. You know, when he blesses you, mm. it's okay if you cry here. Mm. You cry at work. Yeah. <laughs> you cry everywhere else. Mm. We come before God and we're afraid to cry. It's okay. Mm. If Jesus wept, I'm going to cry. I'll let you know right now. Amen. When he touches me, I'm going to cry. And that's all right. You can judge if you want to. But you need to get excited. You need to yeah. let those emotions loose. Amen. Amen. <laughs> be excited. Be joyful about what God is doing in your life. Amen. If he's not in your life, like I said, come up here and we'll get you saved. God, mm -hmm. he'll save you and he'll come into your life. Yes. And you'll, Amen. you'll be happy. Be oh, joyful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Remember to be excited. Why? Count your blessings. Why? Because he's our God. He's our creator. Yes. He's our provider. He's our healer. He is almighty. He is awesome. Yes, Amen. Yes. Oh, man. All these things. <laughs> he gave you strength to get out of bed this morning to be here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> he gave you all the gifts, all the blessings you have. Mm -hmm. That's enough reasons to shout. Hallelujah. Praise yes, God. Man. It's all right. Be excited. It's all right to shout for him. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth, it says. Amen. That's verse 1. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all you lands. Shout for joy. Amen. Yes. I'm not ashamed. Amen. When all else fails, count on God. He said he never leaves you. He never right. forsakes you. He is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Amen. Amen. <laughs> He's a friend that never lets you down. Amen. Well, you got a friend that always goes around you and talks about people to you, but what about when they get away from you? Yeah. They talk about you to other people. <laughs> you got to be careful. Amen? Yeah. So, <laughs> he says he is the closest friend that yes. you need. Amen? Amen? He will lead you through dark valleys. Yeah. He prepares the feast before you when all have turned their back on you. Mm -hmm. In the presence of your enemies. Amen? Yeah. He's there for you. Uh -huh. He will give you exceedingly abundantly all that you need. He supplies all your needs. Yeah. You know, just go to him. The Bible tells us when you know the word, because the truth is going to set you free. Yeah. Yeah. I know he's supplying all my needs. <clears throat> Amen. You don't have to wait on this or wait on that. You go to him. Thank you, Lord, that you provide all my needs. Uh -huh. He's going to use somebody here because this is the earth. Yeah. And he's going to provide. Amen. Amen. He is God. He watches over you. You should not, <laughs> you should get excited about all this. You should shout to the Lord say, thank you. Yes. I give you thanks. Amen. Like I said, when you get before him, if you don't know what else to say, just say, thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 That's all right. That's all right. Nothing wrong with that. Give thanks is about excitement. Giving thanks is about serving. Yeah. Psalms uh, 100 verse 2 says, serve the Lord with gladness. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Yes. Not sadness. Right. You try to approach people with sadness and they'll push you away. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you approach people with gladness and joy 
And they'll just want to know, why are you so happy? <laughs> you know, this is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice yeah. and be glad in it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Not yeah. sad in it. Some of us right. need to remember that. Amen. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Yeah. Worship the Lord with gladness. Mm -hmm. Come before him with joyful song. God has yeah. always asked his people to serve him. Yeah. God told Pharaoh, let my people go. Mm -hmm. Amen. In uh, Exodus 7, uh, 7, 16. Then he said to him, Pharaoh, the Lord, the God of the Hebrews, has sent me to say to you, let my people go, that they may worship me in the wilderness. Yes. But until now, you have not listened. Uh -huh. <laughs> Remember, he wants you to worship him. Amen. Yes. So if you're embarrassed to do this, then put that aside. And you know, if you have to close your eyes, close your eyes. <laughs> and just lift your hands Amen. and and, and, uh, and worship him. I don't care <laughs> if you say, well, I don't sing so good. So what? I'm making a joyful noise unto yeah. the Lord. Yeah. And if you don't like it, neighbor, move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, I'm singing it unto you. They don't like it, but you like it. Yes. Amen. So I'm worshiping you. Yeah. Amen. And when we get our hearts on him, we're not judgmental. Amen. And, and, and just know he says, what's wrong with him? What's wrong with her? No. Get yourself into the praise Amen. team. Get yourself into praising and worshiping. Amen. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God's <clears throat> deepest desire is to have his people serve him. Get involved. Participate. He wants us to participate and not spectate. Too many of us are spectating mm -hmm. and keeping ourselves out because I'm not good enough. Well, who told you that? Whoever told you that lied to you. And you need to know the truth so you can know the truth so it can set you free. Amen. So say, hey, Lord made me to be here and be involved. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get involved. You know, every, we talk about this all the time. Every part of this body is important. God put it there. Uh -huh. God put you here. You're important. He put you on this mission. And he supplied you as I called you. Mm -hmm. He qualified you. You don't need the world's approval. Right. Right. <laughs> you don't need the world world to qualify you. You know you you're not qualified to do this. You're not qualified for this job. You're not good enough for this. Mm -hmm. But you're good enough for God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Every part of this body, God put Amen. there, and it's important. If God put it there, it's important. Yeah. And you know what? Every part of this body functions in unity. So as a body of Christ, Amen. every part of us comes together. We need to function in unity. Amen. Amen. So we're not against each other, fighting who's right and who's wrong. The enemy's going to have us mm -hmm. all messed right. up. All messed up. Amen. So we don't want to do that. Jesus says Amen. we are to make service to God mm -hmm. a priority in our lives. Yes. Who or what we serve shows where our priorities are. Mm -hmm. If he created you, he's, he's your creator. Yeah. If you're a sheep, he's your shepherd. <laughs> if you enter his courts, he's your king. Amen. If you serve him, he's your master. Yes. Amen. 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 So you need to know these things. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise and don't God. be ashamed. God wants more than just us serving him. He wants us to serve him with yes. gladness. Amen. Remember, I just talked about Paul and Silas. They got beaten for doing the Lord's work. Yeah. <laughs> and they didn't, mm -hmm. they, they, they weren't sitting up there complaining about the beating they got. They started worshiping God yes, yes. at the midnight hour. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> and God heard. Yes, he did. Amen. God heard. Mm -hmm. Amen. Another time in, uh, in, in the Old Testament, there was prayer going up. And the angel came and said, you know, from the first day you prayed, Yes. I hurt you. But guess mm -hmm. what? The enemy's going to try to stop. Yeah. Right. Amen. But stay yes, faithful. Yes. Stay yes. faithful. Yes. And the prayer is answered already. Yes, Amen. Yes. So I see it, I see it answered already. Yes. <laughs> Amen. We should consider it an honor and a privilege to serve him. Yes. Hey Lord, <laughs> you know, you sacrifice your son. Lord, I'm doing this under you. I'm mm -hmm. doing all this under you. And that's what the Bible says in Colossians. One of my be best uh, script verses of scriptures in Colossians 3, verses 23 and 24. If you're going to do it, do it as unto the Lord, not unto the man. Amen. 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 Be a 
God pleaser, yeah. not a man yeah. pleaser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Man will never be pleased. We should count it a joy to serve the Lord. He is the King of kings and Lord of lords. And to be in his presence would be an honor. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Every day when you go before him, you know, it's, a, it's just an honor to be there. Yeah. You don't even have to say anything. <laughs> you know, you just have tears rolling down your eyes. Mm -hmm. Lord's blessing. Amen. You had an encounter of the best kind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you had an encounter with the Lord of Lords. Amen. Yeah. The King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen. Yeah. I mean, that is a blessing right there. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Give thanks is about coming before God. Psalms one, uh, 100 verse uh, 2 also says, come before him with the joyful singing. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, you know, when the praise team is singing, it's just not up to them to lead us into the throne room. It's up to us to get involved amen. also and join in. Yes, We're amen. part of this team also, amen? So giving thanks, telling him how thankful you are of all the blessings he's given you, of all he's done for you, amen? And we shouldn't be surprised when Jesus says in Matthew eleven twenty eight 28, says, come to me, all you that are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Yes. You need rest, you go to him. Paul and Silas, he needed to be touched by God. And guess what? He showed up. They started worshiping him. He shows up. Right. Yes. He'll show up. You know, he's no respecter of persons. He'll do it. Right. What he did for them, he'll do yeah. for you. Yeah. Don't think uh, he has, you know, a uh, favored one. Mm -mm. If you're gonna if you're gonna use favor, then just say, I'm God's favorite child. <laughs> <laughs> he always answers me. He always blesses me. Amen. Amen. It's okay. I, I see myself that way because I honor him. I worship him. Amen. I am God's favorite child. So you call yourself that too. Amen. Amen. If you're going to have an attitude about it, just say, no, 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 no. You got it wrong, brother. I am God's favorite child. Well, that's all right. Brother, that's all right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Woo. God has given us great blessings. Yes, he has. Amen. So we shouldn't, uh, we should come before him just joyfully singing unto him. Amen. Amen. Like I said, if you got problems with my singing, you take it to the Lord. <laughs> and you say, Lord, touch him. <laughs> I used to pray for me to sing good. <laughs> I'm praying for brother now. <laughs> I'm praying for sister. <laughs> touch him. Touch him, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Giving thanks is about knowing God. Uh -huh. Psalms 103 says, Know the Lord. He is God. It is He who made us, and now we ourselves. We are His people and the yes. sheep of His pasture. Amen. Amen. In this verse, we are told two things God made us, and we are His possession. Yeah. If you don't know that, it's time you know. Amen. You know, in Corinthians, it taught, tells us that we don't own ourselves, He owns us. Amen. Amen. This body belongs to Him. Amen. Amen. So honor Him. <laughs> God made us, not we ourselves. Many times people get caught up in self-sufficiency and pride. He is our creator and we are his possessions. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. We belong to him. Amen. Woo. Church, there's no place of self-sufficiency or pride when we come before God with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Just go to him. Amen. You know, if, if Jesus went to the Father, guess what? He is our Heavenly Father. We are His children. We can go to Father and just ask Him. Yes. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need strength. Whatever it is, go to Him. I need your strength on a daily yes. basis. I need you on a daily basis. Yes, and you're there. Lord. Amen. We, you know, it's called Christianity. It's called relationship. Mm -hmm. You got. You have to have a relationship with your Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have a relationship, you know each other. Amen. You know each other. You know, religion is all about steps, do's and don'ts, and a little bit of God. Mm. You'll never accomplish all these do's and don'ts because you're trying to please man and not God. Yeah. And God's very little involved. Giving thanks is all about entering his gates. Yeah. Psalms 100 and verse 4 says, Enter his gates with yeah. thanksgiving, enter his courts with praise. praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Once again, Paul and Silas, they come before God. I mean, they are beaten. <laughs> and they could have been sad and mad, but they didn't. They yeah. come before God, knowing their God. Yes. And we need to know our God because our God.
God wouldn't do that. That's right. And you know what? They went before him, and he shows up, and he set them free. <clears throat> Thanksgiving occurs in the atmosphere of worshiping him. So, if you haven't entered into worship, it's time to get involved. Yeah. Amen. Um, I've heard many people say, I, I, I'm not a good singer, so I don't enter into worship. Well, you're excluding yourself. You need to include yourself. Amen. 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 Get involved in just worshiping him. Let your arms just <laughs> worship him. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, uh, I don't know if you heard, uh, we, I talked a little bit last week about Chris Christopherson when he got saved. <laughs> And he was visiting the church. He says, something I don't do much. <coughs> and then he says, the pastor gave an invitation. And all these people are going down. And he says, I ain't going. I don't want nobody seeing me, you know. But guess what? He found himself going down. <laughs> and the pastor said, are you ready to meet your Lord Jesus Christ? He raised your hands. He said, I ain't going to do this. <laughs> you know, he's talking to himself like some of us do. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what his hands went up he hit the ground or the carpet and next thing you know he says he woke up and he said he felt this forgiveness just lift off of him this forgiveness was there you know he was just being blessed the Lord met him but he said I'm not going to do this because I, I'm not going to do it and some of us resist instead of just yeah. stepping out in faith. Mm -hmm. But anyway, he wanted God saved. And some of us came that way. Some of us came <laughs> different ways. But you know, <laughs> you came. Yeah. And there's a lot of people out there that need to come. <laughs> and then they see themselves bad. But guess what? They ain't mad. My God. Mm -hmm. They need to meet God. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. And he's using you to reach them. You see, I can't go where you go. And you don't go where I go. Yeah. So he uses you. That's your mission. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you, you're his light. You're, you bring the good news yeah. wherever you go. Amen. So praise God. And the Bible says you can do all things through all Christ who strengthens you. Never exclude yourself. Always right. include yourself. You can do all things through Christ. Uh -huh. You know. Amen. When, you, when you step out in faith. When you step out in faith, say what? Walk by faith. We walk by faith, not by sight. Amen. Amen. So it's not about me, it's about him. Lord, I'm doing this under you. Mm -hmm. When you do it under him, guess what? Mm -hmm. You're going to do things you didn't know. Yep. And that's okay. All he has is the body of Christ to use in this world. Yeah. And we are the body of Christ. We are the church. Yeah. This building is not the church. Mm -hmm. You are the church. Yeah. When we leave this place here, we walk out as church, as the body of Christ, going somewhere to bless somebody, mm -hmm. to meet somebody. Everything that we are or possess is because of God. When we understand this, we can clearly say, thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. He's our Heavenly Father. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm blessed. Yeah. I think my socks are gone now. <laughs> <laughs> Give thanks is about sacrifice. Uh, also, Psalms 100 and verse 4. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, enter his courts with praise. Mm -hmm. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Bless his name. Giving to God is an act of sacrifice. Yes. Giving of yourself, giving of your time. Amen. Uh, let me see. Get honoring him, giving yourself, honoring him, your time, your energy, your attention. Mm -hmm. You are giving yourself to his service. Yes. Amen. Amen. This is sacrifice. Yes. Give thanks to him. He is worthy of our praise and worship. Amen. Romans uh, 12, 1, excuse me, Romans 12, and verse 1 says, We are a living sacrifice unto God. And I beseech yes. you, therefore, brethren, yes. by the mercy of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, uh -huh. holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Yes. So God has made us in such a way that we are to give thanks to him. Amen. 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 So give yourself to him. It's an act of sacrifice. Yes. Worship him. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Praise God. Amen. Giving thanks is also about blessing the Lord. Psalms also 100 and verse 4. The last part of it says, 
Enter his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. Mm -hmm. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. God is blessed when his children bless him. <laughs> Amen. 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 Oh, I just wanted to bless Amen. you. Amen. Amen. I just wanted to honor you. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Honor him. Here's the truth about all of Psalms 100. This is... <laughs> It is about us. It's, it's not about us. It's about God. Verse 1 yeah. tells us, you'll find the name of the Lord who is all over the earth. Yeah. Verse 2 says, you'll find the name of the Lord who have, wants us to rejoice with him. Uh -huh. Verse 3 says, you'll find the name of the Lord who is our creator and yeah. sustainer. Verse 4 says, you'll find his castle, mm -hmm. his home with the doors wide open for us. Mm -hmm. Verse 5, you'll find his name that is good and kind and faithful to all generations. Mm. Amen. We should end this psalms by blessing his name. Yes, amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Lord, I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord, and I just want to bless your name. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. And I, this is the name you have given us, yes. and we shall rejoice yes. and be glad in you, Lord. Right. I can do all things through Christ. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So, in closing, yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the true meaning of Thanksgiving is, is Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the reason for this season of Thanksgiving. But you know, it's not just for November. It's That's not right. just for Christmas. Yeah. It's not just for right. Easter. Uh -huh. uh, it's every day is a day of Thanksgiving. Amen. 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 So, remember that. Thanksgiving it's about excitement, about serving, about coming before God. It's about getting to know God by being involved, entering his gates, sacrificing, and blessing the Lord. Amen. Amen. So praise God. I'll leave that with you. All those of you that are listening and reviewing, I want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving yes. and yes. giving thanks to him Amen. on a daily basis. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Amen. Amen.